Why don't you start with a bent leg? So you see how my shins are slightly forward. So start with bending your knee. So hold it up. So start, so bend your knees forward. Now I want you to lean over so get your chest over the bar. Now come down slow, slow, slow. Now up, bring your hips through, that's it. Yeah, so make sure when knees are always just slightly bent. Come down more, 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 more. And bang where our hips through, that's it, better, better. That's it, same again. Up, nice, this better. That's it, and slide it down your legs. Almost scrape your legs on the way down, that's it. Nice and close, close, close. Keep the knees bent, knees bent. Losing it a little, that's right, so set up. If you, if you go with your legs straighter, so instead of them being like forward, they're slightly back. Because it's extended at the knee here, right, the hammy here and up here as you come down, I'm going to be lengthened sort of at both ends. If your muscles are longer, it's going to be weaker. So you want it to go Yeah, so if we're slightly bent here, the proximal hamstring's going to be lengthened, the distal here, it's still going to be short. Because we're doing RDA, we're trying to target more of the proximal. We can, that way we can lift heavier, and put more force up here where we want to try to target. Yeah, say we're bent knee the whole time, and then come down, so as long as this, this shin angle is slightly forward, you should be able to keep that, and then get a better like, sort of stimulus through here.